Well, because this is Women's History Month, an exciting new exhibit is running all month long featuring works by women of color. It's part of Art Crawl Harlem. And that's where you find Pixel 11's McGee Hickey at the Heath Gallery. Hi there, McGee. Having fun? Hi there, Kaidi. Oh, I'm having fun. There are so many beautiful paintings here. Take a look behind me. There's such a diversity of types of paintings, collages, different perspectives. It's called Fire and Soul, and it's all about female artists. The exhibit at Heath Gallery is called Fire and Soul, We're Still Harlem, part of Art Crawl Harlem, a celebration of beauty, joy, and connection. And six of the ten artists featured here are women of color. One of the things that's really important when curating women artists and black women artists is to make sure that we're showing the diversity. You know, as a community, we're not monolithic. Um, we're different in very many ways, and that often does not get shown. 29-year-old Jasmine Bustamante of Bed-Stuy created these two digital collages called Revival and How Is Your Prayer Life? For this, I actually saw this while I was praying and in prayer, and I really wanted to speak about the importance of prayer. So when I envisioned it, I actually envisioned someone kneeling down praying like this. So I had to find that image and then build it around that. 27-year-old Brooklyn born and raised artist C.J. Priester had a special message with her mixed media collage called Rise Up. Although black culture has come very far, we still need to remember that we should continue our growth and continue making strides towards impacting the future and changing the world. 38-year-old Kina LeBlanc is an artist herself, but she is also the muse in this painting by her friend Demarcus McGoy called This Woman's Work. Well, during the uh, 2020 pandemic, I lost my mom. And uh, during that time, I still kind of had to push through. And I was in school, finishing my bachelor's. I'm a New York City public school teacher. So a few months later, his grandmother passed. So in the process of, you know, trauma, he still pushed through by creating the, the piece. And there's so many layers to it. Uh, the fabric is his grandmother's um, old pillowcase that he used to sleep on. So the combination of my loss and his loss and pushing through adversity was really important. And you see a gallery members, owners, people visiting are getting ready for an open mic night, which starts at 6 p.m. And we should say Fire and Soul is funded by the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone, and the exhibit runs through April 2nd. We are live in Harlem. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News. Back to you, Kaidi. Yeah.